Hello YouTube, welcome back to Tibbs Farm. I'm Tibbs, and I just got done getting the goats into the new pen. It's the first pen that's gonna be outside of the horseshoe. Fortunately, the stream is all dried up right now, so the goats were able to just walk across it. Um, did have a little hiccup with Nibbler, not getting across the stream, but he tried going into the uh, shallow pond and there's a lot of tree leaf muck i don't know it's real goopy it looks solid until you step on it he sank all the way up to his chest and i'm glad he's got horns because i was literally able to just grab it like a handlebar and pull him out uh if he didn't i didn't have the footing to get down in there to get him i don't know how i'd have got him out but we can go on talk about that here in a bit. I want to show you the progress that the goats have made this past week. So I haven't moved the little shelters yet, but this is where they were. You can kind of see all green and then the green's barely there. Just to think that, you know, all of this was too thick to stand in just a month and a half ago but this is what they got done got it all the way out to the stream back there um, my lawnmower the pull start no longer works so I didn't get the opportunity to come down here and cut all this out although um, one of the commenters went and said that they believe that this might actually be arrowroot. And whenever I dug up one down there, um, it's got a very starchy root. So, um, yeah, they might actually be on to something. This might actually be arrowroot. And if that's the case... It actually does have uh, culinary uses. So maybe I'll try to go and figure out how to pull it up without breaking the, the root. Here's the backside of the horseshoe stream. As you can see, it's, it's all dried out. I believe uh, last week, my I was showing, there was still a bunch of water here. And if I remember correctly, I... I said that I fell in right here, as you can see, the sand stops right there, and then this leaf muck. Um, what that is, is as the leaves and other things fall down into the water, there's not enough uh, water flow, so not enough oxygen getting down. And instead of having a aerobic bacteria breaking it down it's anaerobic and it's way slower so it just piles up and piles up and it doesn't really form a mass it just forms a muck and if you step on it you fall right in but that's the stream and i got the goats over here and if i cut across here I might be able to get to where Nibbler fell in uh, mind the camera sorry yeah this stuff is uh pretty darn thick but the goats probably have this all cleared out in roughly a week alright so here is the shallow pond. It's not even really a pond right now, it's muck. But Nibbler fell in right there. You can kind of see his marks uh, right here. Uh, I tried stepping in right here and I just started sinking, so I pulled weight off that foot. Basically, maybe I did 
stand right here and just reach down and grab him by the horn, slowed him up, brought him up here, let him get himself the rest of the way out. But it's hot. I'm sweaty. The goats are in their weak pen. Uh, w E E K, not W E A K. Um, so I think I'm going to go get a shower and get ready to do whatever other chores I have for the night. Um, hopefully I can go and get some kind of equipment down to start dredging all this muck out and throw it into some of the low-lying areas. Get this water moving. Uh, if I could get water moving through here, it'd help um, with clearing it up some. Uh, may need to look into getting a uh, aeration system. Sorry about the camera constantly dropping down onto like my chin. But yeah, maybe I can get this cleaned up, cleared out, and dug out. Start leveling out the land down here so that the water actually has a place to go instead of the land. Um, not trying to dry out, just trying to slow down the water in certain areas so that I can actually contain it because this is technically wetlands. I'm allowed to have animals down here. I'm not allowed to dry it out and have animals down here. If I just raise it up some with, I don't know. As long as I'm not pushing the, land, the water downstream faster than it's supposed to, I believe I'm perfectly fine. That's my understanding of things. It's not like I'm trying to stop the water or make it go faster. I'm just trying to contain where it goes so I can utilize it better. And yeah, I think that's enough rambling for the day. As always, have a great day.